Hello boys and girls, here we are again, Robin the Sudoku guy, with yet another session involving learning how to solve number problems so that we can do Sudoku puzzles. Now, here we have three columns, and if you join these three columns up with together, it makes up three vertical blocks. That's what we call these, vertical blocks. Remember last time I talked about horizontal blocks? Now when it's vertical blocks, it means it goes from the top down to the bottom. Horizontal blocks, blocks go across the page, vertical blocks go down the page. And they are made up of three columns of nine. So we can do the same sort of thing as we did last time, where we can look at, look at this and see which, what, what number is missing. Okay, let's see. Um, one, two, three, it's a four that's missing in here. You've probably worked it out before I even get to it. If, I, if you have, that's fantastic. Yeah, here we go. One, two, three, four, it's a five missing there. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is missing there. Now the interesting thing is this, boys and girls, is that because we've solved these three columns, it's the same thing happens over here. Exactly the same things happen. So here we have, for example, we have 192, here it's 192. Here we have 37378, three, here we have a 3, well, this will be an 8. And uh, here we have a 426, if we join them all together, this block here will have, uh, what did we solve? We solved it a 4 here. And we can always check by going to this block here and showing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yes, it's all there. We're looking to make sure that we do not put a number in more than once in a row, column, or block. You can't do that in Sudoku. And in this final one, we've got an 859, so it would be an 859 here, and we can make sure that this is correct by going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And you can also go down and check yourself this way as well. So there's more than one way to solve it when you start to get blocks in, in vertical blocks or, in, as we did last time, in horizontal blocks. So that's it for the, this session. See you next session where... Oh, no, it isn't. I've got one more thing to tell you. Oh, I forgot. Gee whiz, that, this is so important. Here is what a real Sudoku puzzle looks like when it's completed. Here we have a completed puzzle. A Sudoku puzzle completed without a mistake. If I repeated a number somewhere in a row or a column or a block, it would not have worked out. So, if you look at this carefully, it's nine rows, as I said before, nine columns, vertical, uh, this is a horizontal block, here and here, there's a horizontal blocks, three of them. Here's vertical blo blocks, there's a vertical block, there's a vertical block, and there's a vertical block. And if you really study this, you may want to stop the, uh, the video and check, but if you really study this, you will not find in the, any row a number that's there twice. If you look at every column, you will not find a number that is there twice. And in every block, you will not find a number that is there twice. And that's the goal, or that's the whole idea of solving a Sudoku puzzle, so that you finish the puzzle and it looks like this, no repeated numbers. So that's it for today's session. Next lesson, we go even further. So bye for now.